here we're going to look at domain where maybe there's more than one issue with the domain. Because remember, universally, there's only two things that can't happen with real numbers. You can't take the square root of a negative number, and you can't divide by zero. So if I'm thinking under the square root scenario, that whatever's under the square root, which in this case is 5 plus x, I could take the square root of 0, but I can't go any smaller. So whatever's there needs to be greater than or equal to 0. But then on the bottom, whatever's in my denominator also has to be not equal to 0, because I can't be dividing by 0. So in this one, there's kind of two issues. Probably best to work them both out and say individually what numbers work, and then we can combine that to say, OK, for the whole function, what numbers do we have to pluck out? So for this, we can only use numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 5. We subtract 5 from both sides to get x by itself. So there's one constraint on my domain. I can't use any number smaller than negative 5. And then here, if I add 7 to both sides, I also can't use 7. So let's draw this on a number line so we can get an idea of what it looks like. So here's negative 5, here's 0. Here's 7. So for this one, I can only use numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 5. So closed in circle, I could use negative 5, and then only things that are bigger. Then if I come across to the other one, though, what's it telling me is that I also can't use the number 7, because that would cause me to divide by 0. So when I look at this interval of stuff I can use, I have to pluck out 7 because of this. And now if I want to write this in interval notation, notice I can't write this as one big interval because it's chopped up there in the middle. So I'm going to have to say, OK, I can do any number starting at negative 5 in brackets because it's included. And I can go up to 7 in parentheses because it's not included. Or, and this is our little symbol for or, the union, I can take numbers from 7, once again not included because we're not supposed to use 7, and then up to infinity because I can take anything after that. So I can go anywhere from here to here and anywhere from here to here. So there's the way to write that in interval notation.